You won't believe what you can do with Spotify to get more royalty streams in those coveted editorial playlists. Check out this tutorial. We're in artist.spotify.com. This is the most important area for you to edit things on Spotify. One of the first things I want to show you here is when you click on this little record icon on the left, this will show you your songs that are out. It shows you when you have an upcoming song, which is extremely important. When you've released new uh, music, you'll find it here, unreleased. So this is where you will pitch. Look, this is also where you'll pitch your song for Spotify editors for playlist consideration. When you click on playlists, this is where you can see where you're getting those streams from. Um, these are all the algorithmic playlists. And then you scroll down, it's got your editorial and then your listener, right? And what's interesting I shared in an email to my fans is when I click on audience where these three little people are and then I click on um, source of streams, the majority of my streams actually come from fans. And then it's the algorithmic playlists um, and then like what's almost last is editorial playlists. Now this will go up and down as we get them, but man, it's really all about the fans, right? So the next thing you wanna check out here, and again, you're gonna need to grow your fan base and give Spotify data, but when you click on this little megaphone, this is where you'll get access to Spotify Marquee, where we just ran an ad to Germany for my new song that just came out a few days ago. And if you click on here, you can see that um, I spent $300, and if you scroll down, I want you to see the details. This is what a Spotify marquee ad is. So this will pop up on someone's screen and say, hey, go listen to our single, right? Go listen to our single. And so if I scroll back here, the results, we spent 300 bucks. We reached about 7,000 people. So to the 7,000 people, only 1,000 people clicked, right? Um, so we got 409 converted listeners. Um, they streamed, the average stream was one and a half per listener, so that's not bad. We got um, 115 people saved tracks because of it, right? And then look, we got um, 62 people added it to their playlist, which is huge. And what's also really interesting here to see the data, this song literally came out just a few days ago. Um, we've already gotten 1,500 saves on this song. When I, when I click on this, I can see that... Um, you know, 1,400 people have added it to their playlist or saved it, right? And so that's really important, knowing that people are responding to the song. We didn't get in any uh, editorial playlists on this yet, but we've already triggered the algorithm, the release radar, and we triggered this because we pitched it in here, under Upcoming. If I hadn't have pitched this song, then I wouldn't have triggered that release radar, which is really, really, really important. Let me just go back here. Um, and I click on playlists. Yeah, and then radio start coming in. This is algorithmic as Spotify starts sharing it out. Now, one thing I always do, this, this is manifest playlist. This is a playlist I own and I control. So when I release a new song, I make sure I add that to my this is manifest playlist. And I also make sure, like when you go to Spotify, and let's just say you look up manifest. Let's click up manifest here. Um, you'll see in my artist pick here, I have new song, It's Time to Go to War, and where is it going to? It's going to This Is Manifest playlist. Well, where did I do that? Well, I'm going to show you. When you're in your artist dashboard here, on the top left, you click on your icon, and then you scroll down here, and here's your artist pick, and I can edit this. You know, I could totally remove click remove, add a different image, decide what I want to write and where I want to link to. I can add merch, all kinds of stuff there. Um, I also, because this is a new song, you notice how I changed my background to my new song. Well, that was right here. I clicked this pencil tool and this is where I update the header image. And then I also update the avatar image, right? So then when people are searching for me, it's kind of like a, it's a new fresh thing. So when I type, uh, let's just do manifest. And as you can see here, it's got the new song cover. I normally change that when we release a new song. And that's all under the artists.spotify.com here. So there's so many cool tools that you can use here. So if I just click on this music here, what else can you do here? You had your fan support. I don't normally do that. Um, where's the one that I'm looking for? Ah, fans also like. There's that detail. Um, I'm looking for the merch. If you click on about, this is where you connect your social media. This is where you can add multiple photos. This is where you can write in your bio, pre-order any, uh, pre-order and instantly download my new album. I need to change that to um, 
get a free CD of CD of my new album. Do people still buy CDs? You bet your bottom dollar they do. I don't have time to get into it right now, but um, you want to make people an offer. Okay, you need to make people an offer that is irresistible. And this right here is an offer that is irresistible because it's free. They just have to cover shipping and handling, right? That is an offer. You get a free CD plus 19 songs plus a fold-out poster and the instrumentals. All you have to do is cover shipping. And then we do upsells and all kinds of stuff in here. But you need to make a good offer, right? So we're still in the artist.spotify. Look, this is where they put the merch in the little t-shirt icon. So in here, inside of uh, Spotify, you can connect your Shopify store. So if I go to manifestshop.com, this is on Shopify. And then they can buy merch and you can add and feature different merch items. Look at all my merch that I can offer. This is all connected to my Shopify store. And then you can spotlight merch. So what should I probably spotlight? Um, probably Time to Go to War. Or the, there's the single. Um, let's see if that's going to pop up. I don't want that, but I want the... Um, I might need to refresh this so that it pops up. Um, let's see if it'll resync here. Manage item. Surprise time to go to, to war shirt. Surprise it's not popping up here. I wonder why I might need to resync and um, re come out because I just released again um, this single. Well, of course, I've got a t shirt with it, right? And so that makes sense to have a t shirt and then spotlight that so people buy it. And I should have done that before the album was released. Go to products, time to go to war. There's a possibility that I have not made this available on all sales channels. Manage sales channels. Spotify for artists. There we go. Boom. Save. That's why. So now let's go back. Let's refresh this bad boy. Time to go to war. There it is. Boom. Feature on profile. Done. Okay, so now we go back to my uh, Spotify. Let's probably like quit reopen it and let's click manifest scroll down and it should be at the bottom here merch boom time to go to war they click on that oh snap and then they can buy the shirt right there should have done that a while ago right cool stuff guys that's just a fraction of what you can do on um, with spotify and inside your account Hope that helps. If you have not attended our Spotify challenge, go to 10xyourfanbase.com. Learn how to increase your Spotify followers royalties by 1,000% in just five days. This is now an automated challenge. You can watch it. We will be doing a live one, but this one way you can watch anytime you want, and it's at a discounted price. So go to 10xyourfanbase.com. Join it. You can see all the details, what other people are saying, and just learn so much stuff about Spotify you did not know.